Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to another day of building our tower defense game. It's day number 15, which is crazy to say. We're two weeks into this project, which is absolutely crazy, guys. And let me tell you something here. Two things. One, we're going to be focusing on target modes today. So if you guys know when you place your unit down, we got this button that says first. Well, that doesn't do anything right now. So today we're going to focus on making that worse. Uh, sorry, work. So that way we can do like first, last, you know, strongest enemy, so on and so forth, weakest enemy, you know, whatever we want to add, we will try to get that in to the game today. Now, one thing that I fixed today, just now before I started filming, so you guys remember how we were getting in the output a couple errors if you spam this button? Well, check this out. You know, let me, if I click him here and hopefully uh, could stay on the upgrade, listen. You hear that? I'm spamming, but if you notice, it's not really letting me upgrade so fast, right? Well, what did I do to prevent that? Well, in my game controller, I added a new variable called upgrade debounce, and I set that equal to false. Now, what the heck does that do? I have no idea, but it pretty much helps slow down the speed of how fast you could actually click the button. And I did that all in this function here. Is this a function? Yeah, this is a function. All right. I think it's a function. It's something. It's something important. I'll tell you that, guys. It's definitely something important here. But anyways, what I do is, you know, I, I basically added this. So, you know, we have that. And then we added in this task delay. And, you know, whatever that means. However we did it, I have no idea. It was chat GPT helped me out with this one. And now, you know, as you guys can see when we're playing the game, it doesn't let you spam the button. So, that way, you know, now, as you guys hopefully see in the output here, well, we're not running into any errors. Even though I'm trying my hardest to make it actually happen, you guys could see here, well, it's not happening. So, that's good. That's great, actually. Let's, uh, you know, good start to the day. Day 15, start, you know, good little point here. And then also, today, our uh, one, you know, viewer, Bryce, shout out to Bryce. He was telling me how this access thing down here at the bottom right, right? So, essentially, what is that doing well, it's displaying how many enemies are currently on the map. He was telling me about another method where, like, it would display, like, how many are in the current wave. Now, I get that logic, and he was talking about how, like, if you spam guys towards the front. So, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're kind of right. But the thing is, the thing is, okay? Hear me out. What if we have auto skip on? Right? Now, you see where the logic kind of falls apart there? Because if the next wave starts, then what? Then the whole system will just break? I don't know the way around that, like, logically speaking. I get it. I get it. I was actually considering it. But then the whole logic to that falls apart. Now, we could potentially do something where maybe we do both. We display, like how many enemies will spawn it'll be like 15 enemies spawning we could do something like that and now how would we get that info well that's all in our main script here right so like in here once again i don't well actually we could just hard code it maybe maybe we could just hard code that and simply set it to what we want because I mean, I, now that I'm just, like, thinking about it, I mean, we know how many are going to spawn. It's it's three. Well, oh, man. That, see, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. It's actually complicated because I, I really don't know. I really don't know about this one, boys. I just really don't know. However, surely there's going to be something we could do to have that work properly. Now, this one right here, I'm just going to take that 100 off just because that's kind of been annoying me for the last couple uh, times we've been working on the game. But... I don't know. What do you guys think? There's probably a way to do it, but I'm okay with the way it is for right now. You know, eventually maybe we could like work on adding that. Just kind of, I mean, that would be pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure ChatGPT could help us with it, or maybe there's some other video in this series that'll help you explain it. But for right now, I'm fine with the way it is. We're going to keep it. And then later in the future, we could say like wave two, 13 enemies spawning or something like that. All right. But anyways, let's go into NumCode's video and see what we got to work on today for this target mode. It looks like it's a long video, guys. 51 minute video. Wish your boy some luck here because we're going to need it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 6 
100k hopefully we can hit that by the end of the year guys help your boy out share this video with a friend your mom your dad tell him to hit that subscribe button it'll mean the world to me all right i really appreciate it and let's get into gnome codes video and see what i gotta do here all right guys so we are about halfway through gnome codes video which is pretty awesome that this time is definitely flying and holy smokes it's already 1 16 a.m all right well you know, we're probably not streaming tonight, but that's okay. I'm, you know, more focused right now, more locked in on making this game. I think it'll be lots of fun for me, for you, for everyone. You know, I think the vibes will come back to streaming. Maybe we get some other streamers to come play with us. It could be a fun time, right? I think so, personally. But check this out, guys. So we have now actually a whole system in place. Lots of LSIFs here. I'll tell you that right now, guys. But we set up a new function called Find Target. And this is what's going to actually, like, contribute towards, like, targeting mode. So, especially right here, all of this stuff, if you guys read all that, we have ourselves a near target mode, first target mode, last target mode, strong target mode, and weakest. So, let's try out here, for example, last real quick and see, you know, hopefully if this all works. Now, how can we test this? Because right now, the button is still not working in-game. Well... We can go down here and just straight up set that target mode immediately. I think we showed that at the start of the video. Maybe not, but we also put this here just to kind of like set up a value in our config folder. So we'll just set it up immediately as last. And like I said, in the you know future, we'll probably have it start off as like first or something. And then you guys can change it as you know you want. But right now, hard coded a little bit. So let's go uh, in here and test this out. Once again, just remember it's... Uh, you know, has to be set this way. But as you guys can see here, he is ignoring all these guys. He's set to last, and that is what he will do. And our upgrades are still working. Now, once again, this guy is not actually being upgraded because he has no upgrades. But he is level 5. You guys can see that. We just have to actually go in there and set that all up. But, I mean, yeah, it's working, boys. Definitely working. So that's pretty cool. Oops, that's our bad choice here. How about the Rifleman, guys? We'll try out the Rifleman. So... He should be able to target these guys back here, so he should be able to kill this one. Maybe. Yep. There we go. And then this one right here. Maybe if he's lucky. Come on. Shoot him. All right, guys. Well, that's working. It's cool stuff right there. That was a complicated process. A complicated 25 minutes, but better than doing UI. It's better than doing UI. So let's see what else we got to do within this, uh, you know, video. I think we're gonna probably going to be working now on actually getting the buttons to be working within the game. So that should be pretty fun. So let's do it. All right, boys. So check this out. If we go into the game now, I want to show you something here. So let's say, for example, we want to throw down this M1 Grand Rifleman guy, whatever, right? So in here, you know, we got the upgrade button working. That's, you know, something we already had this whole entire time. But what were we trying to do today? Trying to get this first button to actually update and actually work. So if we click it, bang, goes to last. And it does, in fact, work. Click it nearest, boom. And uh, it's hard to see and visualize right now because of the way, you know, we're set up. So maybe I could do better with this one. But so first, upgrade, it goes to last. And, you know, you could do it so on and so forth. So pretty cool. Sorry. Now, if we do upgrade it, though, problem is it goes right back to first. So, you know, I can click it to strong and then try that again. And it'll go back to first. So that's uh, obviously not how we want it today. And we're going to try to go ahead and fix that. So even upon upgrading it, it'll stay as, you know, what you ever set it to. Okay. But anyways, in here, a couple of the things that we did, in fact, add, I'm pretty sure in the top of towers, we added this uh, change mode function. I don't know if we added that before, or if I showed you guys that or not yet, but we did, in fact, add that. Let me just get out of that real quick. So on player add, we'll keep that open just in case we need it, but nothing in there. In the main script here, I don't think we did anything else that's different. So that's cool. We'll get out of there. And in tower, like I said, guys, you know, we were doing a lot of work in here throughout today. But uh, Gnome Code's going through and he's like changing the colors of his text inside that gray box. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. I don't like the way that looks in my opinion. I think it looks kind of bad. So I'm just going to keep the way it is. We're chilling. But, uh, you know, in here we have a lot of interesting stuff going on. And I know in here we use some of this stuff to set it all up right here, this code. But... Yeah, I mean, guys, it's it's looking pretty good. I'm going to try to find the one new function, I believe, that we added. It was something with, like, this mode index thingy. I'm going to try to find that for you guys right here. So this one is exactly where we actually go through our 
you know number of modes and are able to change it so right here our modes we set this little table up and we kind of go through that and it kind of always goes back to the first so hopefully we can figure out in gnome code he's about to go over that you know little update and show us how to actually fix it so it could just stay to whatever you kept it as so that's what i am about to do now but uh so far good progress that's all working and there's only like 10 minutes left in the video and it's like the 51 minute long video so we survived it guys let's keep uh grinding here Alrighty, boys, it is 2 a.m. basically right now, and we wrapped up Gnome Code's video. Episode 15 is complete. Day 15 for us, also complete. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. So we made some fixes. I'm going to show you guys in a second. But we were having an issue. Like, I don't know. I think I was showing it, but we were basically spamming down, like, 50 enemies or sorry not 50 enemies I'm, I'm getting tired 50 of our towers and there was like no limit so let's just double check make sure we fix that and uh let me just see here so boom 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 and boom and one more all right so one problem that we were having too is if i tried to upgrade right now it wouldn't let me because like it wouldn't let me go past that 15 selection at least Theoretically, that was a problem because numcode was having it, but I was having a different sort of problem where my limit wasn't correct, but I fixed that because I was just missing like a dot value. So we're good with that now, but let's check this. Can I upgrade? Okay, I can still upgrade, guys. Can I place one down? Nope, player has reached max limit. Cool. So that's all working. There's also collisions on with my uh, troops. I don't know if I want... I don't think I really like that. Do I like that? No, because look, at, I can move them around, it looks like. I wonder uh, why that's actually a problem right now, because I swear I fixed that er like way earlier on. Collision groups, and somewhere in here I would have thought that I uh, already did this, but clearly I have not. However, I don't know why I could actually do that. I, 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 I don't have tower or player, they shouldn't be able to interact with each other, right? Let me just uh, see if I fixed it by clicking that, and we're going to find out here in about two seconds, so... Did he just fall to the map? What the heck? No, I could still walk into him. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting there. I was really, uh, you know, kind of confident. I thought I fixed that all, honestly, but... Oh! Tower. Wait, is that the problem? Let's see. Tower and tower? I don't, I don't know. We're going to find out here in a second. Let's see. Click uh, play. And let me just try to get that down right there. And now I could still collide with them. I don't know why. That's super weird, guys. That's super weird. Collisions should be off. But they don't seem to be off. There's one thing I could think of that I could do real quick here. And that would be go into our towers folder. And just get these guys. And isn't there just like a... Collisions? Yeah, it's they're all turned off. I don't know why. That I'm actually able to collide with these guys. That's so strange, guys. Because... You know, we we have it set up like this for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why I would be able to actually collide with them, but, you know, I guess that's just how she goes. I don't know why, but here we are. Tower, like, did I, did I not do a collision group for that? Because I, I thought I would have, but, you know, maybe, maybe it's just not working anymore. I know I have one in here for the mobs, and I don't, you know, I can't collide with mobs anymore. See, it's this right here. This uh, modern collision groups assignment type thingy. And, you know, that that's working. I don't know why, like, in the, the tower spawn thing that we got going on here, I should still have that. Or did I? Oh, wait a second, guys. Did I delete that? It looks like I might have deleted that. I'm not seeing it. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can fix this real quick for us here. Really fast. Let me just see if I can throw this in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, where do I throw that in on, on this? So, Loki, uh, I don't know. Where do I throw this in? Just, I don't know. We'll just try it somewhere random, right? Shouldn't matter too, too much, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. But, let's see. I There's like a this previous thing that we got going on here i don't know we could just try doing it like right here maybe so it wouldn't be new mob i guess it would be maybe new tower probably so new tower get the season uh descendants and do that and this group is tower so if that's the case 
what else did I do in here? Maybe did I do anything else? You guys think? I don't. I don't really know. I don't think so. <laughs> but I guess we should probably give that a shot. See if I just broke the game, and we'll see here in a second, guys. Can I walk through them? Bang! Yo, let's go. We can walk right through them now. Not an issue no longer. And I mean, you can kind of place your guys like right next to the other ones, but. I think that's just because the humanoid root part is the way it is. So, honestly, that's not a big deal. I'm not, you know, I got no issues with that. That's fine. I could actually maybe even fix that by going like this and actually turning tower thingy to on. Like, let's just see what that looks like. I don't know if that's even going to change anything or not, but we could surely give it a shot, guys. So, okay, yeah. So, you see how, like, it's actually colliding with him now? So, I mean, I could still spam him quite close, but not entirely like it, it makes sense you know it's better that way i think so towers kind of collide with the other towers that's cool that's fine with me that's good everything is uh working as intended like the whole point of this episode once again was getting this you know targeting system working we got that all working uh, and now and like that's you know pretty good it's pretty solid like you can really see it with this guy here so you can set it to last and he should be targeting like this guy back here and he is so Really cool, guys. That is awesome. You know, we got the sell button from last episode. We have made so much progress. It is absolutely insane. Oh, wait. There's even one more thing that I got to show you guys. So we fixed this too. So let's just say I have that open. So you guys know how there's like that, you know, theoretical part on the ground there showing the range, right? It's like in our camera or whatever. Well, we had a problem before where if I go to place another guy down, it would show up red and I can't place him. Now I can't place him in that guy. See, it shows up red. You know, I can't put him on the track. These are blacklisted parts that I cannot place my guy on. But I can now do it inside of that range thing because we have that as a blacklisted part. So it just kind of sees right through it. So really cool. We got everything working so far. And tomorrow, I don't know if we're working on mobile support or what we're working on, but... You know, we're going to get to uh, do something cool for day 16. I'm excited to bring it to you guys tomorrow. If you're new here, hit that sub button. Turn those notifications on to all. So that way you guys are recommended my next video tomorrow when I show you all the new progress that we've made. So that's going to be lots of fun. I'll see you guys on over there. Today was another W day. All right. Thanks for watching. Adios.